I see the comments and requests and I will act on them. Please remember to follow Geography World channel on Instagram and Facebook using the link shown on the screen. Please remember to like, share with your friends and subscribe. For person wishing to contact me privately, you may email me at geographyworld100 at gmail.com. The link will be posted below. Hi guys, welcome back to Geography World channel. For this video, we'll be looking at the 2019 May Sec examination. And this is paper 2. For this video, we will focus on question number 3. And question number three deals with the, the human section. So let's go down to question number three. So question number three shows us a graph and the graph shows a population pyramid for Trinidad and Tobago for 2014. Where to answer the question that follows. This is the population pyramid. All right, so part one asks us what is the range for each age group represented in the population pyramid. Now the range is how much is the graph going up by. So we have zero to four, five to nine. So the range is four for most population pyramids. The range will also be 4. So part 1, the answer is 4 for the range. Then where to look, where to identify which age group or age range has the greatest number of males. So males is usually on the left. So which age range has the highest amount of males? And this would be the one with the highest or the longest bar. So this age range here, so you just go across. And that is the 30 to 34. So the age range 30 to 34, they're the ones who have the highest or the greatest male population. Part 3 asks us to state one age range that has a population of over 48,000 female members. So females over 48,000. So 48,000 is here. You just go up right so 48,000 so these two would be over 48,000 once you list anyone you should get your mark so that's 25 to 29 and 30 to 34 so anyone you list you should get your marks so that is 25 to 29 and 30 to 34 good part four ask which age range has the least number of persons below 25 years so which age range has the least amount of persons below below age 25 so where you have 25 29 which age range have the smallest so you have to look on both sides now the 15 to 19 bracket it is this these it has the smallest bars both for male and female so it therefore means that the 15 to 19 bracket or range, they have the smallest persons below age 25. Now part 5 asks which age range has the largest number of persons over 45. So over 45, which age range has the largest? 45 is located here. However, the 50... To 54 has the largest amount of persons within that age range. And the further up the pyramid you get, the smaller the bars become. So that's it for section A. Once you have answered those questions correctly, you would have received the five marks. Now section B asks us to define the term primary economic activities. And primary economic activities are those activities that involve the using of natural resources such as the extraction of minerals from the earth, fishing from the sea, forestry and agriculture from the land. And they involve no change in the natural resource and no processing takes place. So these are the activities that involve the use of natural resources. Now part B asks us to describe how each of the following factors 
has influenced oak migration in the Caribbean since 1990, in the 1990s. Now we talk about oak migration, we're talking about the process of people moving out of an area in their country to move to another area within their country's country permanently. Now economically, people migrate from one area to the next in search of employment opportunities and to basically follow their career path. Good. So for example, a teacher from St. Elizabeth may relocate to Portland in order to work. So economic wise, you're moving because you're following your career path or you want to make money or you're moving to take on a job opportunity. Right? So economic, you're moving on to better your standard of living. Right? Next, they ask us to talk about it socially. Now, persons migrate from one area to the next for a better quality of life or to be closer to family members and friends. Good. So, hence, persons will relocate to areas that have very good road infrastructure, clean water, and unclean environment, as well as the necessary social amenities, such as hospitals and supermarkets. Now, persons migrate socially because they want to be in an area that is socially ready right so there is a hospital there are supermarkets so the necessary amenities there are good roads good infrastructural development good housing conditions right so socially they want to go to an area that caters to their needs now politically uh, many persons they migrate to co um, other places to escape political persecution or war now we talk about political persecution, we're talking about the cruel and unfair treatment of persons or groups, especially because of religious or political beliefs or the, even their race. Now, many communities, they're basically struggling from political unrest and wars, which motivate residents to move. So due to political factors, right, political unrest or war in their community or politically related war within certain communities, persons are motivated to move from one area to another so as to be free from all this political drama let's move on to question c question c asks us to compare the characteristics of large scale and small scale farming in the caribbean using the following headings now we're going to look at the size now as it relates to small scale farming Farming is usually done on less than 10 acres of land, while large-scale farming is usually done on more than 10 acres of land. And it depends on the crop being planted as well as the owner, the owner of the land. The size of the land may vary. So a lot of factors will basically determine the size of the large-scale farming. Let's move down. We we'll go to farming practices. Now for the small farmers, or the small farm we have many crops being planted and animals raised so you have to have a little skeleton little pepper little callaloo so they have a lot of crops and they usually wear rear animals as well they use artificial manures so like the chicken the, the, the mess from the chicken or the goat right they practice crop rotation they use labor intensive methods and a hand tool while large-scale farming, they practice monoculture, and monoculture is when one crop is basically focused on. They use a lot of pesticides and herbicides, and farming is done extensively. Good. Now, after farming practices, let's talk about the labor supply. Now, for small-scale farming, the family members are usually the main source of labor, while for large-scale farming, they use mostly machineries on the farm with only a few human resources. As it relates to technology, small scale farmers, they use mostly simple hand tools. So they use very simple, simple hand tools. For example, a hoe, a machete, right? However, on the large scale farm, um, the large scale farms, they use a lot of machinery such as tractors, plow, crawlers, and combined harvesters, right? So they use a lot of technology, a lot of machineries, while a small-scale farmer uses a whole lot of 
simple simple tools simple hand tools all right let's look at all right so that's it for question number three please remember to like share and subscribe we are at the end of this video thank you for watching and please remember to like share subscribe and turn on your post notification bell in order to receive more videos like these leave comments below suggesting topics that you would want me to present on in the comment section below comment the name of your school and the territory for a shout out in my next video until then bye